Welcome back to UHM TV. Joining us today from the U.S. Pacific Command, we have Brigadier General Suzanne Varis Lum. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me today. So you are a UH Manoa ROTC grad. How does it feel to be back on campus? Oh, it's great. I mean, there's nothing better than being here. I had a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. I graduated from UH ROTC or got commissioned in 1988 and um, was an early commission, second lieutenant, and then in 1989 graduated with my bachelor's degree in journalism. <laughs> And you went to UH Manoa, but were you born and raised here in Hawaii? I, yes, I, I'm okay. uh, hail from Wahewa, Hawaii. I grew up there, born and raised, and, and uh, later on in my high school years moved to IAEA. So I'm a graduate of the public education system, IAEA High School, not Ali. You know, my dad served on active duty and also in the Hawaii National Guard for a total of 40 years. He's a Vietnam veteran. Uh, he hails from Maui, uh, Paia Maui. And when he left in 1960, he joined the army, and his first duty station was Japan. So my mother is from Japan, and my dad is from Maui. And um, he proudly served um, as an engineer and uh, personnel and admin. And he always thinks back of his military service, and that definitely had an influence on me. So you're in the position you're in now as a brigadier general. You know, how do you balance that family life as well as the title that you're in now? Well, you know, I've um, been married for 30 years this year to my husband, Lieutenant Colonel Retired Courtney Varislam, and he, we met at UHROTC. So we got married pretty young and we're stationed together in Germany. So we understand we've had to balance dual military for a long time, but it really takes a partnership uh, for, for dual military to work together. Uh, we, you each have to help one another family, friends, and when I was deployed, it was a lot of my family and friends who helped me. I have two children. And you know, when I mentioned OIF3, my, I just adopted my younger daughter. We only had her a year. And my, my older daughter was five, so they were very young. And I was gone for 18 months. Yeah. So when I came back, my younger daughter, we, need to, we had to do a lot of catch up. Mm -hmm. But it was those friends, uh, friends from church, friends from my community, friends from uh, you know, small kid time, and my family who helped a lot. And, and I'm blessed to be um, here in the Guard at home in Hawaii, but that's not the case for many people who um, are in our military that are away from their families. So they often have to build a bond of friendship to help one another when, as we have sustained or been through multiple deployments over the last 16 years. You mentioned your husband's a lieutenant colonel. Yes. Um, so you all rank him. Does that I ever, do. Does that ever I come do. up? I, you, know, he, you know, he gets a lot of heat from a, a lot of people, but he is such a, he has such a great um, sense of humor mm -hmm. that it doesn't because, you know, as a team, my, you know, uh, where I go to, he's there. I mean, we, we look at it that way. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that has not been an issue, but um, he has to take a lot of rubbing from the other guys, though. <laughs> you were able to chase your goals and become the position that you're in now. You know, what message do you have to students who are chasing their own goals and their own dreams? So my advice would be, you know, I'd like to say that I have something um, earth, you know, groundbreaking advice, but the fact remains that most of my advice is what I've learned from our kupuna, our ancestors, people around us, mentors and teachers, who've said, work hard, be honest and transparent, and most importantly, care about people. Because the only way that relationships work, even within this region, are the people. And how do we work together to accomplish a mission together? No one can do this alone. We need each other, and that's really what I learned, that we can learn much from each other. So that would be some of the advice I learned from many other people. Awesome. Thank you so much for that message, and thank you for joining us today. Uh, best of luck on your future missions. Thank you. I really appreciated being here with all of you. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Avon. That was a fascinating interview, and I'm glad a woman is in that role. I really had a great time talking to her. Yeah. Instead of come on UHM TV, Hawaii soldiers get ready to say aloha. The Hawaii Army National Guard preps for its largest deployment in a decade. Stay with us for more of UHM TV.